Uh, dear students, in this lecture, uh, we will discuss, we will understand how to uh, draw the uh, block diagram of uh, a controllable canonical form. So, in our previous lecture, we have uh, covered that uh, how we can convert a transfer function of a linear time invariant discrete time system to uh, the state space representation through controllable canonical form. So in this lecture, we will see that how we can have the direct realization structure of uh, such system, uh, which is converted to uh, state space representation through canonical form, controllable canonical form. So, uh, as we have already seen that uh, a difference equation which represents a linear time invariant discrete time system, uh, when we apply a Z transform on such a difference equation, it is uh, uh, it can be converted to the transfer function and the required transfer function is given by this equation number one. Now, uh, by applying the controllable canonical form procedure or which is also known as first companion form, uh, we can uh, have the, uh, you know, uh, state space representation of such system, right? So the required difference equations which are obtained, the main difference equations which are obtained are given here with equation two and three. So how will we draw the, you know, uh, uh, the block diagram of these two equations, right? So uh, since it is an nth order system, the order of the system is n, so we will be having n delay elements. A delay element is nothing but one by Z or Z inverse. Symbolically, we represent a delay by this symbol. Okay, this is a delay symbol, right? Uh, symbol of a delay element, right? So we have an f order system. So we would be using n delay elements here. All the coefficients of uh, the denominator of the transfer function, which are alpha one, alpha two, up to alpha n, would appear in the feedback of the block diagram. And all the coefficients of the numerator, that is beta naught, beta one, beta two, and beta m. But here, because we are taking m is equal to n, right? So uh, that would be the, you know, at most condition that can happen means the number of zeros could be equal to number of poles in the extreme conditions, but m shall not be greater than n, right? Now, <clears throat> all these betas, that is the coefficients of the numerator of the transfer function given by equation number one, they would appear as the feed forward elements. That means alphas will appear in the feedback path and betas will appear in the feed forward path of the block diagram, right? So now let us see. So let us write these two equations once again here. Now the first thing that we will see is the first equation, which is x n k plus n k plus one, sorry, which is equal to these, uh, you know, the product of the, sorry, uh, minus alpha and x1 k and so on and then we have one control variable also here right so let us take the control variable first which is uk so if we add uk to some you know feedback because all alphas would appear in the feedback path so this u is added to all these uh, you know coefficients right so let us say that we have uh, you know uh, add it or we can also subtract because uh, you know if we write it we can also write it like this minus uh, alpha n x1 k 
प्लस एल्फा एन माइनस वन एक्स टू के एंड प्लस डॉट 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 प्लस एल्फा वन एक्स एन के ब्रैकेट क्लोज राइट एंड प्लस यू के सो वी कैन राइट दिस लाइक दिस आल्सो सो यू के माइनस आइडर वी कैन ऐड और वी कैन सब्ट्रैक्ट सो so plus and minus something is coming out here something will come here so let we'll see what will come here right so the resultant of these two comparisons would be x n k plus 1 so this is the resultant right uh this is the result right so when we input this x n k plus 1 to a delay so let us draw a delay here right so when we input this to a delay it would result in x n k right it would result in x n k right uh so now if we see here the output y k okay so this output yk here which is given here it is the simplified this is the simplified equation actually in our last lecture we have all so this yk is given with this equation which is given here right uh, beta not into xn k plus 1 plus beta 1 into xn k plus beta 2 into xn minus 1 k plus 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 like that okay so we can multiply this x n k plus 1 will take uh, a point from here a feed forward path this would be a feed forward path so we will have a beta not element here and then like this okay so it will be added to something to what it will be added now we have x n k here and we can see that x n k is multiplied with beta 1 so we'll take a feed forward path from here we will have a beta 1 element right and we will add these two now these two have been added here so now because these two have been added here so this is the feed forward path okay so this is the feed forward path right now uh similarly if we see here in this particular equation this one so we have x n multiplied with minus alpha 1 however we have already taken negative here so we will multiply we'll take a feedback path from here we multiply this x n okay so we are taking x n from this point and we are multiplying it with a coefficient alpha 1 okay so this will be you know added to uh some path would, which would be coming from this side okay so we will see what is what will be coming from this side and eventually it will be added here so you can see x n k plus 1 is equal to u k minus alpha 1 into x n k and we will have all other elements also right now if we add one more delay here let us add one more delay element here right okay so now it will give us x n minus 1 k right it will give us x n minus 1 k now we can see that x n minus 1 k is multiplied with beta 2 so beta 2 will be taken in the feed forward path right so the resultant of beta not into x n k plus 1 and beta 1 into x n k will be added will be added here right it will be added here or oh, sorry not minus it is plus so it will be added here similarly in this equation in the first equation which is mentioned here right uh, we have x we have uh, you know 
x n k is here, so x n minus one k will be multiplied with alpha two, right? So we if we see the previous lecture in that we have already mentioned the equation, so we will have alpha two here, which is multiplied with x n minus one k, and this is taken in the feedback path, so it is added here. Uh, sorry. It will be added here to some result which is coming from some feedback, right? So plus and plus. So in this way, we'll keep on uh, adding the delay elements. We'll keep on adding the delay elements, and ultimately we will have, uh, let us say, some uh, uh, a delay element which will give us. Uh, an output which is let us say because we have here uh, x2 and here x2 x1 so let us say we have a delay element after adding all the delay elements in this way we have a delay element which will give us x2k right which will give us x2k right so uh, we can multiply this x2k with alpha n minus 1 in the feedback path right and it will be added to some uh, feedback coming from here right and this these two will be added here and the resultant is you know added to this one okay so we are you know we have added in this way because uh, we cannot show all the delays here right so it is shorted fine so in this way, one delay, two delay, in this way we will add n delay elements, right? So we have one delay element which will give us x2k. And in this way, we have, let us say, x2k is multiplied in the feedback path with x alpha n minus one. And in feed forward path, this beta n minus one. Okay, so it will be multiplied with beta n minus one, right? And here we will add the resultant of all this, you know, whatever was here with the beta n minus one into x2k. Now, when this x2k is fed to one more delay element, when we feed this x2k with one more delay element, it will give us, it will give us x1k. It will give us x1k, right? So, uh, x1 k right so x1 k is multiplied with alpha n in the feedback path so we'll have alpha n here and it is added to this one so alpha n plus into x1 k plus alpha n minus 1 into x2 k and here we have collectively taken as it, it as negative this equation is basically realized otherwise you can add all the elements here but you can keep all these elements as negative that is also that can also be done right so there is no harm in doing so so let us draw them once again So now uh, in the feed forward path, we can see that x1k has been multiplied with beta n, right? This is multiplied with beta n. So we'll take beta n here and we will, you know, add this, these two will add plus and plus right and now the addition of all these is equal to yk so the resultant is equal to yk here right and here we have x1k right so this is how we can draw 
uh, a direct realization structure of the state space representation obtained through controllable canonical form for a given linear discrete time linear time invariant discrete time system so i hope this concept is now clear to you right so uh, you can see whatever we have studied this is a beautiful picture of that okay so uh, everything has been done in the similar manner here we have x n k plus 1 right okay so uh, so this is how we can obtain we can draw the diagram right so in this lecture we have understood how to obtain the uh, block diagram of this transfer function uh, through controllable canonical form right by converting it into the state space representation okay so this is the block diagram representation here right so this was all about today's lecture and thank you so much